Hello everyone, welcome back to Gajroy Tips and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix iPhone 14, 14 plus, 14 Pro Max is having blank screen of death issue which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app. So the black screen of death is happening for many users very recently. Many even updated after updating to the latest version of iOS. Even some users ended up in this. So how we can fix this app? So let's dive into this. So right now, as you can see, I'm not able to do anything. The phone is completely in the black screen. And what is the first and basic step you can do when you're having this particular trouble? The first step you can try is, it is all about it, a force restart on your iPhone. To do a force restart, as we all know that, we have to press volume up, followed by volume down, and we have to press and hold the power button over here. So let me do this. So I'll be pressing the volume up, followed by volume down, and we have to press and hold the power button, unless and until we see the Apple logo. And once you see the Apple logo, what we need to do is we just need to wait, because this to get completely uh, you know, uh, loaded up, we just need to wait. And afterwards, once the phone is completely turned on, we can try navigate to further steps. So once right now, as you can see, the phone is turned on. So what I need to do is I just need to demonstrate you the next step. So once the phone is turned on, this is the first step you can try when you're having an issue with the black screen of death. So try with the force restart. Most probably when you try the force restart, the issue will be completely pick, uh, fixed because we cannot do anything when the force restart is there. You'll not be able to do anything because you know it is completely uh, turned off. So you'll not be able to do anything. So next one, after trying with the force restart, we can move to the next step. That is all about, we have to uh, remove the screen protector. So right now, as you can see, I've already used the screen protector over here. Sometimes this might be the reason why we are having the issue. So just remove the screen protector using. It is very important to have a screen protector when you are trying to use it. But at the same time, sometimes this even causes the issue up. So just remove the screen protector from your iPhone and see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about we need to update the iOS. In order to update the iOS, you need just to tap over here in the settings. Now from here, we just need to go over here in the general, tap on the general, go for software update. And uh, you know, you should be connected to the internet. So just go over here and make sure that you are on the latest version of software update or not. If the software update is not there, if you're getting any update, just update it. And also I'm having a direct update to upgrade to iOS 17. I can even go for uh, that as well. So try updating your iPhone to the latest version. So let me suggest you to go for iOS 17. So once afterwards, see whether the issue is solved or not. Most probably when you go for the latest update, the issue has to be fixed. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to cross check whether the iPhone is through any kind of physical damage or not. Maybe the phone might be slipped off your hands or anything might be happened or the screen might not be working. So that is why we might be, you might be having this issue maybe. So you can also try the hardware, like just physically check your iPhone, whether it is having any issue or not. Even after trying with this, if it's still, it's not working. I would like to give you one more step that is all about you have to use official charger. You should be using the official charger. So uh, for many of the users, when they use the third party charger, it was not working for them. So what we need to do is use the official charger and try using the official charger for your iPhone. Even the using the third party or first quality may be uh, making you to have these kind of issue. And these are the possible workaround which can be tried from your side in, if you're having this particular trouble. So try with all these things and if you're still having the issue, what we need to do is we just need to book an appointment with the technician of the Apple, talk to them, they will help you guys out. So these are the possible workarounds. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.